Welcome to Blooming Wildwood Homestead. We've just finished up week two of the pantry challenge and I hope you are still feeling excited and enthusiastic about going through this process. This week I want to talk with you about some of my tips for one of my greatest challenges when it comes to eating from the pantry. My biggest challenge when it comes to eating from the pantry is feeling like I am not prepared enough um, or that I just don't have time to do the cooking that is necessary to eat from the pantry. We all have times in our week where we end up with a lot on our plate and it can be challenging to try and eat from the pantry or eat meals that you've prepared at home. And I think this is where we end up falling into that trap of going out for fast food or picking up something quick and easy from the grocery store because we're just in that mindset of feeling like we don't have time to prepare something at home. Now, one of the things that can really help is doing a bit of pre-planning. I will link in the description below to one of the videos I did last year talking a little bit about meal planning and how that can be very helpful. And it is something that can really help with the process if we are doing some meal planning. This past year when I was going through the gardening season and the canning season, I tried to think a little more proactively about what I could go ahead and stock on my shelves so that I could take care of some of those times when I needed something quick to be able to grab because I feel like that's one of my greatest challenges when it comes to eating from the pantry. So I wanted to share with you today a few of those different ideas, um, a few things that have been working really well for me this year and hopefully these can be a help and encouragement to you as well. So one of the things that we know I like to do is make lists of different things and I just took a little post-it note and I wrote down some of my quick meal ideas. So if I'm getting home from work kind of late or if I've had a busy day where I've had a lot of appointments or different um, meetings that I've had to go to, I have something that I can pull from. So these are just a few of the quick meals that I can make using items that I already have in the pantry. Some of these are store-bought items that I can use. Some of them are things that I intentionally canned this past year in order to try and mitigate some of those feelings of needing to reach for something outside of what I already have in the pantry. One of the new things that I canned this year is some chicken verde. And I got this recipe from the ball canning book, um, which I can link to that in the description. It was a new recipe for me and I just did a few jars to see how I would like it. Um, and I don't have very many jars left already, even though I just canned this in August it's been a wonderful go-to. I can add just a little bit of thickener if I need to, um, and it's great on like a salad, or you can use it for tacos, um, any sort of Mexican flavored dish. And then of course with my canned salsa, it just makes for a wonderfully quick and easy meal. And this was something new that I canned in order to set myself up for that this year. The next thing on my list is soup. Soup is something that's so easy, all you have to do really is warm it up. And again, I tried to set myself up for that this past year. I made some French onion soup. This was a new recipe for me and used up some onions that I had too many of and I was running into some issues with that so I needed to can some of those up and I made that French onion soup. I have done tomato soup, which I can link to this one in the description below. Um, this is just a quick, easy meal with the grilled cheese sandwich is the best, but you can have just the tomato soup by itself and that's wonderful as well. A new one that I made this year is the chicken enchilada soup. And again, just another hit. If you can top that with a little bit of sour cream, it's wonderful. Kind of along that same line, I have canned up some chili sauce. And so I've got the sauce already prepared. I have um, canned some ground beef, so that's already ready to go. 
I don't have to worry about whether or not I remember to take something out of the freezer. I already have that. Now, of course, if I'm having a day where I'm a little more prepared, I might do some ground beef that was frozen, uh, cook that up, and then maybe put the chili in the crock pot. But I don't have to do that if I'm looking for something quick. And then, of course, beans. I have um, some store-bought beans. You can use your home canned beans. My favorite beans for a lot of the soups and chilies are the cranberry beans. But again, I would need to soak those and then put them into the soup. So if I need something quick, I want something that's already canned up. Another meal that I just actually made this past week, you can use some canned chicken, whether that's store-bought canned chicken or if you have some home canned chicken, and go ahead and warm that up with some of your favorite spices. Of course, I like kind of the chili powder, cumin, um, a little bit of garlic powder. That can really add a lot. If you have fresh garlic or fresh onion, you could add that to it as well. Mix in some black beans, warm that up, and it's delicious on a salad or again in a taco if you wanted to kind of go that direction. I would top that with a little bit of salsa and you have a wonderful meal that is fairly quick and easy. Next up would be spaghetti. And again, I've tried to kind of set myself up pretty well for this. So I have some canned spaghetti sauce. Um, I have a couple of different types of canned spaghetti sauce that I've been using. And all I have to do is cook some noodles and dinner's ready. I can serve some green beans with that and then I've got my vegetable ready to go as well. So very quick, very simple and delicious. I also have a few items in the freezer as well. Um, I've been looking for shrimp when it's on sale. Sometimes I'll be able to pick some of that up. Sometimes I'll have some pre-cooked meats that are in the freezer that I can just go ahead and use. And then I froze some snow peas so I could make a quick and easy stir fry with just a couple of ingredients and that would be delicious over rice or something um, like that. And so I can have dinner easily prepared in under 30 minutes. And while I do prefer to try and eat as much as I can from my home prepared foods, um, I do still have a few things in the pantry that are quick and easy if I see them on sale. So I had picked up some mac and cheese at Grocery Outlet. It had been on sale for a pretty reasonable deal. And so I have a couple of boxes of this on hand as well if I were to need something um, quick and easy and that was sounding good. Now, those are just a few of the different things that I could go ahead and prepare. I do feel like having it listed on a sticky note is really helpful for me because if I'm in that moment of feeling exhausted, like I just don't have time to cook and everything's going to take too long, I can easily reference that and find something that will be fairly nutritious for dinner that evening. Now, if you have a little bit more time but you don't wanna have a ton of hands-on time, I do find that the crock pot is extremely helpful for that. There are so many things that you can get started in the morning and then dinner's ready by the evening or the afternoon. And when I'm a little bit more pre-planned, I do find myself utilizing the crock pot a lot, especially during this time of the year. And sometimes I wonder why I don't utilize it more even during the summer when I'm busy outside and trying to do things as well. And so the crock pot can be a really useful tool when it comes to um, reducing your hands on time. So today I'm gonna share with you a quick and easy recipe for more of an Italian style pork chop. It's basically a dump and go. For this recipe, we're going to keep things nice and simple. I'm going to put in a couple of frozen pork chops. These have defrosted just enough to be able to get the um, little paper out from between the two of them. Keeping it real simple, I have some uh, pizza and spaghetti sauce. You can use it for either one. It's a little bit chunkier than some of the other sauces that I've made. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that over the top. I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper. 
and we're going to cook that on low for a few hours. I hope these ideas have been helpful for you. Maybe you've been facing the same challenge that I have as far as not feeling like you have time to cook from the pantry. So let me know in the comments below, what are some things you do to try and reduce some of the stress that comes with figuring out what to do when you don't have a lot of time. If today's video was helpful, please click like, and we would love to have you subscribe and be part of our community here at Blooming Wildwood Homestead. Until next time, bye everyone.